Hello and welcome to a new episode of Tech Tuesdays. My name is Royd and in today's video we'll take a look at the Sony A7 III and talk about whether this camera is still a good option in 2021. But before we get to the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel guys and hit the notification bell to stay updated on future videos. The Sony a7 III was launched in 2018, so it's a three-year-old camera at this point. And with the launch of the a7 IV last month, the question that a lot of people will be asking is, is the a7 IV worth the upgrade or is this Sony a7 III still a viable option in 2021? When this camera was released in 2018, it was a game changer. The camera had amazing specs and performance and was a wonderful all-rounder for hybrid shooters. Hybrid shooters being those who shoot both photo and video with its 24 megapixel sensor and the ability to shoot up to 4K video at 30 FPS, this camera had something for everyone. And to add to this, the camera has amazing autofocus. It is one of the best autofocus systems I have ever seen. The face and eye detection are so fast and accurate that you can get about 99% of your shots in focus. The camera also has a 5-axis image stabilization built into the body, which means you can use pretty much any lens and get steady shots, both photos and videos. These features were among the best when the camera came out, and they still are even 3 years later. And not to forget, the compact and lightweight nature of this camera and the amazing battery life made it one of the most popular camera models in the market. Every wedding photographer or cinematographer that was either already a Sony shooter or was moving to Sony was picking up an A7 III. Of course, the A7 IV being a newer camera will have some notable upgrades. The biggest upgrade of them all is a 33 megapixel sensor and the ability to shoot 4K video up to 60 FPS, although in a crop mode. Now these upgrades will of course come at a higher price. The A7 IV is expected to be priced at around 1.9 lakhs which is considerably higher than what the a7 III was priced at when it was launched. These and other upgrades that we'll see with the a7 IV are not small upgrades by any means. And if you're someone who likes having the latest camera, then you won't be disappointed. But on the other hand, if these upgrades are not that important to you and you prefer having something that offers better value for money, then I would say that the a7 III is still a fantastic choice. The a7 III is currently priced at around 1.5 lakhs and is a whole 40,000 cheaper than the a7 IV. And the price is also expected to drop a little bit after the a7 IV officially hits the market. This makes the a7 III a great option for both hobbyists as well as professional photographers that are looking for the best bang for the buck camera. And even in 2021, the specs are very competitive. The 24 megapixel sensor is more than enough for weddings and the 4K 30fps video resolution is pretty decent. And to be honest, we still shoot all our weddings in HD and we don't have the need for 4K at least for the next couple of years. And not to forget, the low light performance of this camera is still amazing. You can easily get another 2 or even 3 years use out of this camera depending on the type of shoots you do. And we are so confident of this statement that we went and bought a brand new A7 III for our team members just this month. And we'll be using it extensively over the wedding season for both photos and videos. So what do you guys think? Is the A7 III still a good option in 2021? Let us know in the comments below whether you agree or disagree and while you're there, don't forget to like and share this video with your friends, family and anyone else that may be interested in photography and cinematography. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.